Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, you know what to do again. I want to say welcome to all that have recently subscribed. I do appreciate everyone's viewership, your donations, your bookings, your positive energy, your positive words, your confirmation, okay? I've already done my meditation called in the appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I just ask that you be tarot's about energy. We got high vibe, we got low vibe, we got those in the middle, no striving to be in the middle. Now, with that said, I know your place in this reading. If you feel like something is not you, but it may feel like your story, guess what? It may not be you. It could be someone that you're dealing with, someone in your environment thinking of you, you're thinking of them, a boss, an ex, a co-worker, a past over loved one. You get the gist. Even a grandparent or a child, all right? So we're going to go ahead and get into this reading because you know what? I can feel it in the air. That's right. That's what I heard. I can feel it in the air. I believe it's a song by Benny Siegel. Those that don't know the outcome of what happened in the situation with him, you may want to research it because it ties right on into that energy that's been floating around the collective. I also heard games and shenanigans, okay? We're about to see why some don't feel right. Now, I do want you to know that you are, if you are here and you're listening to this message, you are protected. You know why? You use your intuition. Those that are non-believers, those that are in disbelief, or those that create the, the chaos <clears throat> are the ones that's blinded to the truth. That's what I'm hearing. Either... Show me what it is I need to see. I just seen the divine feminine. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Some of you may have had some sort of telepathic connection or visit in the spirit realm in the dreams that, yes, it does happen. Even if you requested to have a connection severed, guess what? <laughs> You don't run that, boo. <clears throat> Excuse me. The creator dictates what happens in our lives. And some of us have to learn that this lifetime. That's why we need so much adversary. Right? So we have the divine feminine and we have the divine masculine. I heard in training. Very interesting. All right. So it's a reconciliation. Some of you may have had... Uh, a reconciliation with your twin, okay? I, I heard it's very rare. This is something that is a secret. Interesting. <laughs> so some of you are actually with your divine masculine or divine feminine, okay? Um, however, others of you, something is happening, I heard unbeknownst to you. I see. This is regarding... For some of you, the matriarch is regarding generations, okay? All right, so yeah, I, I was feeling it, but you know what? I got to let it come out. We have Strega. Strega means witchcraft, okay? So somebody could be trying to come in between your connection if you are with your person. Others of you, they're trying to keep a connection from coming together, okay? This is a sisterhood. This is a fraternity, secret society. Could be a family member, okay? Whatever. I heard contracted you know, to do some sort of spell work. Again, we have the moon. You know, the moon is all about secrets, okay? It's all about the subconscious, too. There could be a Cancer or Pisces involved, right? But this is somebody that acts out of emotions. They can't control themselves is what I hear. But there's a secret battle happening, okay? I heard uh, someone may have had a nightmare, so those of you that don't know, for me, this blood card here, yes, we have a tree. A tree is indication of generations, okay? It's, it's talking about family. It's talking about growth, something that is rooted in the ground. However, this tree is not rooted in the ground. As you can see, it looks like there's some cement, okay? I heard falsehood, okay? So I feel like there is a divine masculine 
that sees someone as stable and independent. I also heard that they're dealing with someone that's karmic in nature. This could be a mother, a child's mother. They have children with this person. They know that this person is not rooted in the ground. Okay. I heard not wrapped too tight. So there's some sort of advancement this karmic individual, whether it's male or female, is trying to stop from happening. And then, you know, we see curses. I've seen it, right? So, yeah. So somebody could be trying to curse someone's union. I don't know if you're getting married. If somebody's talking about getting married, you may need to keep that a secret. This could be something that happens in the future. Remember, these readings are ti um, timeless, okay? So, yeah, we have the coven, the, um, the group. Okay, the cult, all right, doing some sort of blood rituals. And there we have it. We have the games and shenanigans, okay? So, yeah, this is somebody trying to tap into someone's divinity, trying to, uh, I, heard, I heard spinal cord. I don't know what kind of manipulation, what, what they're doing, okay? I see a cobra, you know, but the cobra could mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. Okay, so I'm not going to get into that because I'm being told not to. Somebody's resistant to whatever seed they're trying to plant. All right. Let's see. Yeah. This is the games. This is the shenanigans, right? Right. That's happening with this cult, this coven, this group, this sorority. For some of you, this family. I'm hearing that it's a secret society uh, family. Okay, that operates in the dark, right? Let's see. Why is secrets here? Somebody wants somebody to stop talking about magic, black magic. Why is, yeah, spells and aura. Oh, this is interesting here. Okay, so I'm hit, I'm getting hidden knowledge, right? So occult study, somebody could be studying occult Um I heard deceptive tactics. Somebody is studying deceptive taxes. Uh, taxes. Decept somebody is somebody doing something deceptive on their taxes? Oh, child. Okay, somebody could be doing some investigation in secret. Okay. Some yeah. Somebody could be also be studying what is that? Um auras. Somebody could read auras here. With the Grand Cross Provoker, I feel like someone is planning to move away from some sort of secret society, some sort of cult, okay? This person is being provoked at this time here. They're, yeah, somebody wants to take a chance. Let's, why is Strega here? Strega, what is this witchcraft? To stop someone's destiny, okay? This could be somebody that has your astrological chart, okay? This could be somebody that plans, look, black cat, somebody's protected. Again, this could also be somebody that is a gray witch, okay? Because I heard a good witch, okay, for some of you. For some of you, that's your secret calling, right? That's what you're here to do. You're here to help stop these games and shenanigans with incubation. Look at this. Somebody's steady trying to tap into somebody's dreams. They're trying to astro project or send some sort of negative energy to you or someone else. This is clarity. Somebody, somebody had some sort of dream. Okay. It was a feeling. And I'm being told, all right, if you consider yourself an empath, maybe you don't know what an empath is, right? You need to look that up. But... You, when you're an empath and you're young, you don't know that being an empath is not something that just comes out of reading cards. This is something that is born inside of you when you incarnate or reincarnate on this planet, right? So you have this um, empathic quality about you. You don't quite know what is your feelings and emotions. Uh, versus someone else because you absorb energy. You're a conduit for energy, okay? A battery, right? So you could be with people or um, trauma bond with people that you are simply meant to teach a lesson. This person, are you, are, are meant to cross someone's path, right? And just your energy, your vibration, the way you are, the way you were raised, your ethics, your morals will change someone's thinking just for a brief moment, okay? This is a part of a divine plan. 
if you attach yourself to someone that you're just supposed to be helping, okay? If you have children with someone that you're just supposed to be helping, that energy accumulates in your room, okay? For your for, for males, it's, it's the same thing. I don't think it calls, you know, I don't think we call your sacral area a womb, okay? I can't think right now. That's how long it's been. I don't know what to call it. But it's the same things for you. So you can either heal from that or continue to pass these demons on that you accumulate when you start sleeping with all these people that you are just meant to grace their past energetic uh, path energetically. Some of you are holding on to things from the past. And this is why you keep attracting the same type of individuals. If you are in a relationship and you haven't healed from the previous relationship or hurt and you are empath, you are carrying that energy to uh, around you or to someone else. And so basically what I'm saying, if someone around you is suicidal, guess what? You become suicidal. This is why you hear individuals tell you to... Uh, Get rid of what no longer serves you. This could be people, places, or things. Tell me more about this divinity. Either show me. Okay, sensitivity. Okay, so you feel it. This is somebody that feels it. You made, look, sun card. We got some more solar and sacral energy. You can feel it. Some of you may wake up. Some of you may be having dreams. Some of you are having dreams about your future. Right. And people are trying to manipulate it. They could also be trying to project things into your head. OK, somebody could be trying to pay somebody to lie in court. That's what I'm hearing. There's a lot happening in the dark with sensitivity. Some of you are having some healing done to that sacral and solar plexus area. OK, this is the area that they keep trying to attack. OK, know that you are protected. I'm just I just want to tell you that. OK, with sensitivity, this is about a marriage. Now, I don't I, I believe I said that earlier. This is a marriage that either is, is a spiritual marriage. But for some of you, your person is married to a karmic, whether they're male or female. OK, so a spiritual marriage supersedes any man made uh, marriage. OK. Here we have the transformation. Yeah, somebody's trying to stop something from transforming here. And it's just, it's just, de it's delaying. Okay. I don't want to get too much into uh, that, but we're going to go ahead. Okay. I picked up the wrong deck. So let me see. Not the wrong deck, but, and I'm being told some of these cards are, Reverse, do not uh, trip off of that, okay? If the card needs to be up in the upright, it will come out in the upright. But I want to see what this uh, witchcraft is all about, okay? Um, for some of you, you need to know that you have people hurt in high places protecting you, okay? It's like a spiritual tribe. This is, it's the, the energy turned really good, but I am being told to inform people that it is witchcraft happening okay and so it's reversed here we have elemental magic earth if you are something of a gardener you can symbolically plant transformation into your life Take a handful of beans from your pant. Okay, we don't go into that because I don't do. Hey, y'all can fool yourself and think that I'm over here doing this, this, this stuff that you see on these cards, and you just, you know what I'm saying? That'll just be a lesson that you have to learn because when I'm telling you, I don't touch black magic. I don't do none of that. I don't have to. I don't cast spells. I don't astral. Uh, project and I don't invade people's privacy, right? I very much follow the universal laws with elemental magic. This, you know, of course, this is a magic deck, but they're letting you know that, um, you know, this is an alchemist, they manipulate the energy. They tried to plant a seed. We've seen that with synergy earlier. It's all been reversed. You are protected with black cat. Some of you, you may have a cat, some of you come from the cat lineage. All right. Some of you have um, direct um, connections with Bosset. 
somehow, okay? Some of these things you won't be able to look up, um, like DNA and all of that. However, there's a, so many signs. Some of you may even look like a cat, okay? Um, I'm also hearing segment because, you know, we got the sign card here. You could be a Leo or just somebody that's in your full power, okay? This is somebody with the sign card here under that divinity. This is somebody that does not push, uh, you know, they go with the flow. This is somebody that is in tune with the earth. This is why the magic is not working, okay? Okay, they want me to do the black cat. Why is black cat here? Clarify the black cat. Travel, travel talisman, okay? So know that you are um, safe if, during your travels, okay? Somebody could be trying to, to travel towards you. I do suggest that you um, wear some sort of protection, jewelry, maybe even a talisman. This person could have talismans. They could be skilled at making them. So all these came out in reverse. We have divi divining decisions, <laughs> So, yeah, they're trying to, you know, push an agenda is what I'm hearing, okay? Push an agenda, let's just say that. Precious stones, this person could use crystals, okay? They could be trying to, like, program your crystals. What? What is this? Okay, so say you have crystals out, like mines. I don't know who's trying to program somebody's crystals here. We have uh, telepathy tea, look, trying to... Tap into your divine connection. For some of you, they were able to do it before because maybe this person was coming in the form of your divine masculine, divine feminine, or someone that you trust, okay? And you may have divulged some information to this entity or to this person that uh, is skilled, okay? I heard an astral travel or some sort of sorcery, okay? Because, again, this is a sisterhood. This is somebody that studies um, the occult, okay? So, Wednesday Wisdom. Ain't this a B? What is today? Is today Wednesday? Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. Okay, I don't know when you're going to see this, right? That's the message. I believe it's Tuesday. I don't know. I got to check and see. But remember, this is a timeless reading. So, Wednesday Wisdom. So, they trying to tap in... Um, you know, uh, to your divinity, possibly by tarot or some sort of divination skills that they use. Some of you, they're actually trying, they may have your birth chart, okay? They're trying to, okay. For some of you, this person that they deal with, they track their movements, okay? I, you know, probably by some app or I heard OnStar. I don't know why. I do. Is that even a thing anymore? Thor's Day Spell. So I'm going to tell you right now, they're trying to cause some sort of a chaos, some sort of altercation, possibly. They may was trying to do something to somebody while they were traveling. They could have tampered with your car, okay? Also tampered with your, your mind. I'm hearing food for somebody also. What is this book of knowledge? I'm, I'm curious. Book of knowledge. Love Spells. <laughs> Self-blessing. This is interesting. Hmm. So it says, the time you take to restore yourself is precious. Before, um, perform a self-blessing every day. Take direct, uh, ooh, take the dry sage in aromatic lavender and tie it in a muslin sack. Okay. So, yeah, somebody definitely uses talismans. They use... Um, what is them grease grease bags or juju bag? I don't know. Okay, somebody uses herbs with the with the love spell. It's not funny, right? But um, somebody could have tried to put something in somebody's food. You know, especially if you travel to somebody's house and for the holiday. Ah, uh, conjuring pleasure. Ooh. Like trying to put a love spell on somebody, I cannot. Right, I don't. I'm hearing this person doesn't need it. I don't. 
this is whoever it is they're trying to keep stay connected to you for some of you it's a masculine for a few males it could be a feminine and if it is a feminine it's a karmic let me tell you that um conjuring pleasure what is going on here secrecy that was quick good vibes only oh okay so they want you to be quiet or they want me to be quiet okay so if somebody wants somebody to be quiet about uh their sexual preferences and them getting high or whatever okay with good vibes only somebody predicted something okay but somebody's karmic could be you know a secret drug addict what is this whether it's male or female what is what the heck? why do we got this car here please tell me either show me what it is to <laughs> see they're great yeah this is somebody that's in their lower self they have a chemical imbalance it's because they do drugs and it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you sniff it could be smoke okay it could be shoot when my brain has too many tabs open this person uh, could possibly stay up like watching you getting high look at this watching you getting high casting spells this could have something to do with the aries or just somebody that's in their head because they are high they could also have a big ego this is what um um, I'm hearing, okay, with the use me Lord card, this is somebody that talks a good game, but they don't, they can't make it up. Okay. If this person, um, they could have tried to gaslight you with religion. Okay. But what this is telling me is this person can't take the lead because they are always high. Mm -hmm. They may get high, start tripping and do witchcraft where well, I need my space or yeah. Okay, for somebody, it's their secret lover or, or karmic, right? Secret lover or karmic, look at this. Secret lover or karmic that is doing this. They get high in cast spells, okay? With the monster slayer, we got the witcher, you know what I'm saying? This somebody, y'all saying? <laughs> this somebody, right? You can actually be a bounder uh, hunter, but you this is somebody that follows their natural guidance, okay? This is somebody that is divinely protected. Um, the witcher is somebody that has been poisoned multiple times, whether if it's mentally or physically, okay? So at this point, they're numb and immune, okay, to somebody's attack. Most likely the stinky fishy lady, right? This is a karmic. Okay, so anything to see you weak. So this is somebody that's casting spells on your person. If you consider that to be your person, you. And for some, um, you know, readers. Okay, because that's just that's just how it is. For so yeah, somebody's you know. This could be, say you're a reader, this could be somebody that comes to your channel and you start talking about uh, sex and drugs and them sleeping with the same sex. They get mad, okay, because this is the, the, that's they see, even though this could be a general reading, they take it personal because they're always high, they're always in their head. They don't realize that they're dealing with somebody that's divinely protected. It's kind of like they're obsessed. Um, they could have an obsession, uh, obs obsession, obsession, what the, I was saying obsession and suppression. They could have a, uh, like what, what do they call that? Speed balling. You know what I'm saying? They take, they, they watch you. They get high. They start tripping out. And it's like, they, they didn't did it so long. They used to it now. Okay. Because Yeah. Make no doubts about it, the Witcher is for my stars. That's somebody that's been through a lot, uh, possibly by themselves. They had to overcome a lot by themselves. You could be a loner, okay? You could prefer um, being alone. Some of you may be into swords, whether if you are male or female. 
Show me what this uh, destiny is about. Yeah, somebody read somebody's book. Now, if you're a reader, you read somebody's book. You read them down. I'm hearing some of you, this person could have gotten a reading from you. They could have pretended like they were someone else and you may have read for them. You knew that you was reading for a karma. I need my space. Yeah, look at this. Somebody's trying to stop somebody's destiny by keeping them stuck. They could be sending um, obstacles your way or to whoever they are with. This is somebody that's vicious and spiteful. They will fight you or them. They definitely have a personality disorder because they're always high. They have low self-worth and they are suicidal. I think I talked about that. Your person, you may even had some bouts with suicide in the past, especially if you're an empath. Okay. So why is, and if you are having bouts with suicide, mental um, disorders, personality disorders, seek counseling for that. Okay. And that's no joke. I'm not just saying that. I'm a person that's been through a lot. Right. And I believe that we are working off karma, but we are healed here to heal. Word got around that reading that I did yesterday may resonate with some of you. Check that out. Why? Uh, word got around that somebody was sleeping with somebody in the LGBTQ. And I told you, I told you, this person don't like that. They don't want their secrets out. Why is uh, Strega here? They're mad. Okay. This could also be somebody in the LGBTQ community that casts spells on people. Why? Uh... Yeah, they getting caught. Somebody getting caught. This somebody was trying to set somebody up, possibly with somebody from the LGBTQ. Okay, this is somebody that's skilled in manipulation. Okay, for some of you, if, if this is somebody that's in the LGBTQ community, I'm just gonna keep it 100. This is somebody that is not telling people that they are a part of that community. This person could even entice men. Um, through oral sex, like I'm, I'm seeing somebody on a dating app. This person gets on dating apps and they offer fellatio. All right. So you may know this person, you may not, but they watch your channel with the gang stuck. It keep coming out to Santa Cruz. Okay. They letting you know, um, Yes, I've attacked you multiple times because we got nine lives and protection and lesson. Oh, excuse me. I just got the hiccups. Ooh, but they want you to know that, yes, this person knows my gender. They don't care. This person could even have, uh, you know, the tattoo on their back. Okay. Look at this. Yeah, somebody is a part of the LGBTQ and could not be somebody. Somebody could be what we consider straight um, that does black magic as well. OK, somebody that's very spiteful and jealous. They're very disrespectful and they drain people energetically when they have sex with them. OK, so this would be somebody that as soon as, you know, y'all have sex, they got so much energy. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, the thing, you know. People say, you know, when it's good, you fall asleep. Not this burden. Mm -mm. They ready to go out. Uh, ooh, I heard and be a whore. And I'm just not going. All right. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's trying to figure you out. They know whoever you're dealing with, they know that this person is not good for them. But you see, they may have opted out of this connection because they had this secret addiction. They're scared of being judged. Whoever they are with, they may do a lot of, uh, you know, they, they do risky things sexually. Okay, this could be somebody that's been together for a long time, or they could have had this uh, connection with this person um, that they may pay or may not from the LGBTQ for a very long time. Why is Black Cat here? Somebody is trying to blackmail somebody with the lessons of the heart and self-worth, okay? So this is somebody that takes advantage of people and take advantage of people because they've been hurt. They haven't healed. They have, um, what is it? What is it? affection? They have affection for people that I heard low grade, but I'm not going to, I'm not, 
I don't know. Maybe that's a word I don't know. somebody used, but they have affection for people that come from uh, toxic backgrounds because they're able to be themselves. They're able to do their drugs or whatever. Okay. That they're too, they're their true selves when they're around people in a lower vibration, people that operate out of their lower self. Okay. So for some of you, this person has a connection with this person that they pay for sex, whether if it's male or female, whoever they're paying for sex or whoever they have as a sex worker, uh, has some sort of entity attachment or they cast spells. So with the spring car, something could happen in spring. Someone's birthday could be in the spring. You could have been born in the sixties or seventies. Okay. Um, you yeah, somebody could dress like seventies bell bottom. Somebody has a big old Afro, what, um, beautiful Afro too, with the explosives and the rebirth relationship. So you have to know that your relationship is protected. Okay. So for some of you, this is an older couple that is together or wants to come together um, for some of yeah, for some of you, this is somebody that wants to come towards you. Could be a divine masculine, could be a divine feminine, but it also could be a higher level soulmate, somebody that you can relate to. This person could have been watching you for a very long time. Okay, you it, you know we got that Katy Perry sound. You just gotta ignite the light and let it shine. Just on the night like the Fourth of July, right? Something could happen on the Fourth of July. Somebody's birthday could be on the Fourth of July. Yeah, this person has a very like toxic past. Some of you um, have this toxic past. You share this in common with this person. However, you accepted your calling here and you moved on. This is why you feel this connection with this person because you've known them for a very long time. I heard grew up. Somebody grew up with them. Uh, this person feels like you understand them. Divinity, tell me, well, no, spring, tell me more about the spring. Mm. So, so something could have gotten around about something that happened in April, May, March, even June. Something could have happened around those uh, times. Okay. Somebody could have had a child, too, in the springtime. Uh, or you're going to have a child. Yeah. Okay. I feel like somebody is, somebody could be pregnant by, you know, you have to know that your child is, is, um, protected. Okay. Some of you, you're having a star seed, like somebody, um, your child may be psychic. Your child could even end up like a Pisces for some, for somebody. I don't know. Okay. So we have the karmic is bored. It's heads up. So when the karmic gets bored, you know, whether if it's male or female, they're going to get high and they're going to start their shenanigans. Uh, what's today? December 1st. You know, maybe they got some money, Word got around. What was the word? That somebody didn't follow their intuition. Okay. Word got around about someone in an unstable connection. Somebody that does black magic. This could also be word got around that somebody, you know, pays for sex or uh, somebody is a, a prostitute or, you know, pimping, you know what I'm saying? Um, this could also be for some of you, whoever they are getting, giving money to somebody younger could be a child's mother or not. They're skilled in manipulation. All right. They may, they feel like they made a bad choice when they allowed this third party to come in. This is something that they're dealing with now. Again, they could have somebody pregnant. Yeah. They, yeah. They want out. They want out. Okay, so somebody's child's mother, child's father is sending you distorted energy, but they don't realize how protected you are. This person can't sleep because whatever energy they're sending you is become it's coming right back and they don't know how to get rid of it. The only way to get rid of it is to raise your vibration, right? But they can't do that because they're constantly high. Okay. Yeah, somebody walked away. Somebody definitely walked away. I feel like uh, if they, 
This person is losing their mind because of all the magic that they're doing. Why is divinity here? Somebody didn't go with their gut. This could be somebody, again, that was born in the spring, born in 60s or 70s. Right? They didn't go with their gut about this person. Okay? They felt, okay, they felt like they needed to protect themselves from this person. Somebody could also need to use protection if they are sleeping with this person. Or if they plan to come in, somebody, for some of you, there's a karmic man trying to come in and sleep with you. You're going to have to go with your gut. This person could have been born in the 60s or the 70s or the spring. Or you could be this man born in the 60s, 70s or uh, in the springtime, right? And something could have gotten out, um, like some sort of lie could have been spread about you with the divinity here. Somebody's heart chakra is blocked. It's blocked because they're not being their true selves here. They're in a connection that is loveless. They're only together for show. They're only together to drain people's energy. This would be the couple that pretends to be happy on social media, but behind closed doors, they're fighting. Okay. The children are unhappy. Okay. It's just, yeah. This is somebody that misses you, wants to reach out to you, could be pulling on your heartstrings because they think about you so much, but they are not willing to let go of this toxic situation, possibly because the person that they are dealing with has a lot on them, right? And they get high off of um, putting people in third party connections. I know it's hard um, to fathom, but some couples do. Um, get high off of getting other people interested in them and then ghosting them, okay? It's a form of control. It's definitely illusion. Somebody could have, somebody, yeah. Somebody that, for some of you, you got a test coming up from a, a karmic, somebody that you're supposed to end something with, Okay. They could be pulling on your heartstrings, trying to send love spells because somebody else is trying to come in. This person could be feeling it energetically. Again, you could have had an empathic connection with this person. Okay. Um, that's possibly why you believe that this person was your twin. You have to know that things are happening in your favor. Okay. So we have the empath card. Look, somebody's in a loveless relationship because they are secretly, secretly gay. Whether they are male or female, you may talk about this. You may have thoughts about this. For some of you, my stars, where you were put in an entanglement uh, from this person, you know that they're gay. You feel that they're gay. You walked away from this person, okay? Look, go big or go home. This person put on a coat they can't fit, okay? Abundant, healthy source, facts, and uses, Okay? This person put on a coat that they couldn't fit. Whoever the third party is, they know that there's a deep connection here. What is the sun card about before I get off of this? It may cut off. You know what I'm saying? Why is the sun card here? What's going to come to the light? I heard exposed. Okay, so some sort of court delay, possibly a delay from getting a divorce. But what's going to come to the light is this toxic couple that we've been talking about in the tarot community that goes around astral projecting, trying to uh, tap into people's spinal energy, their kundalini, kundalini energy to throw them off. OK, they're receiving some sort of karma is coming to the light. Somebody's trying to figure you out or trying to figure out how to avoid karma and you can't. Uh, for some of you, this karma is they don't want to be judged. For some of you, you could be married to this person. They don't want you to judge them for what they've done. For um, for others of you, this is like one person that's doing this. Like they're doing a, a lot. They're accumulating a lot of karma just because they don't want to be them true selves. They don't want to uh, be embarrassed, this, especially if they're in the 60s and 70s, okay? This person um, comes from an era where they feel like they can't be them true selves, but they also get a kick out of being sneaky, 
Okay, like a fantasy. Uh, I heard fantasizes about other men for some of you. Okay. This person could be watching you. They could be confused with their sexuality. For some of you, you have a child with this person or they have a child with their karmic. The sun card before I get up out of here. Look, it keep coming out. I'm a science bro. Yeah. Somebody is trying to figure themselves out with self-worth here. Giving and receiving. This person took so much because they don't. I don't think they properly know how to love. Okay. This person constantly, again, distracts themselves with lower vib vibrational energy because they're scared to speak their truth. They don't even know their truth. Okay. Somebody needs to figure out what they want in life and stop sending out this distorted energy. Okay. They got this. Somebody has a distorted energy. Of course, it could be a female, but this is an incubus. So this is a man that needs to stop trying to hide themselves and just be their true selves. All right. Let's go. Let's see. Let me get some party. Oh, this went long. What is it? This collective needs to hear. All right, so we have do something different. I mean, you know, it's good to have the cards as uh, clarification, make ne make necessary sacrifice, and, and and most definitely initiate them boundaries. Okay, for some of you, you need to stop pushing people's boundaries, like like stop. Some of you, you need to step into your calling. All right. Some of you, you have stepped into your calling, so you, you are healed, would be a light for all to see, like you're in your purpose. And this person watches you, whether if it's their karmic, your ex, or whoever. For some of you, it's family. They're jealous of you. They watched you. They, they you know, this could be somebody that tried to tarnish your work. Become a clear channel is talking about um, releasing all distractions. For some of you, this person needs to release their drug addiction here. So this is a wake up call for someone. You need to face your adversities. Okay. And take the lead at it because there's a tower moment approaching. But live life to the fullest. I feel like this is somebody, you know, again, that stays high all the time. I mean, what can I say? For some of you, you need to make the necessary sacrifices and let this person go because they're only going to drag you to hell. And I heard that drag to hell. Okay, accept disappointments gracefully. All right, I hope this helped someone. I'll see you later.